So it's been a long week or two or three, and uh, we at the Ordinals team, which is really just a group of us helping Casey keep the wheels on the bus, have tried to do a lot of uh, videos showing people how to install the Bitcoin Core node and uh, Ord client. And I just like literally made a video showing how to do it. And then I came across this guy's video, which uh, I understand is like 10 times better. So instead of me actually going through the effort of cutting and pasting and uploading a better video, um, I'm just going to do a react video to this guy's uh, actually much, probably much better video. Uh, and here we go. Hey guys, uh, my name is NFC Paz. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how Great to cut so far. the Bitcoin blockchain. So to start off, my name is Paz. I'm currently the creator of Ordinal Faces, which is one of the first hand-drawn GIF inscriptions on the Bitcoin blockchain. You Simple, might be asking, cool, I like what it. Exactly Get up and running. Inscriptions? inscriptions are pretty much, they can be thought of as sort of like NFTs. They're not exactly like NFTs, but they're somewhat similar. Inscribing pretty much means uh, putting... That's not wrong data in an individual satoshi and a satoshi is the lowest form of measurement for this is a great chart i would recommend that everybody buy this new token uh it's priced at fractions of bitcoin and um could go much higher from bitcoin so you're pretty much sending out a transaction and within that transaction holds data which is whatever you inscribe or so yeah in, in the witness out. data it could be a 3 file, it could be a GIF, it could be a JPEG, PNG, anything like that. So this is a creator. Yeah, uh, WebP file format is the one of the recommended for uh, lossless small images. Of the whole ordinal kind of protocol. His name's Casey Rod Armor. I really recommend to, to read his uh, handbook, his guide. But right yep. now these are some of the supported files that can be used. There are a lot of steps that are involved, which I'll be showing right now. So the first step in this process is to create a Bitcoin node. Essentially what a node is, is kind of like your own like private server that connects to other computers. It's pretty much what runs the whole Bitcoin blockchain. And in order to install that, we will have to go to Bitcoin Core. I know some people like to do Bitcoin.org. I think that is also a valid yeah. site. Um, the only difference between these two sites is that Bitcoin Core are the people who actually developed the program and Bitcoin.org is more of just like a, a useful like resource that hosts. Yep, like this is a great things. explanation. If anything, this I would guy... recommend uh, Bitcoin Core just because they might have the latest one. So you would have to pick the one stuff. that corresponds to your system. This particular tutorial is going to be mainly on Windows. So personally, I chose the zip file. Um, I know when you run the executable, it's it's a bit different. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it just because it's I think it's easier to just hold the whole the whole program kind of like in its own separate folder. So in here, you're going to have the using folder, seven zip. Line, uh, it's a good it unzipping just want to free extract the file uh, program zip. Afterwards, you will have this folder. You, you won't yep. have everything in here yet, but this is a folder you have. The main folder you want to focus on is the bin folder. This is going to contain all the programs yep. that you need in order to install the This whole React is just going to be so once saying, you move yes, your that's what you over, do next. You that's what you do next. Bitcoin QT executable file. It won't look exactly like this, but it'll ask you if you want to add a directory. And pretty much that directory is going to be the place where your Bitcoin node is going to be installed. Keep in mind, this, this is going guy to actually be explains it better than I do. It's probably more than that. So you really want to make sure you have enough storage. I would recommend using an SSD. If you use a hard drive, it may take a long time. But once you select your directory path for the Bitcoin folder, it'll start downloading. Now for me. Yeah, so what he made with the point he made about an SSD or HDD or even your, uh, you know, like an M.2 drive, the type of hard drive you have is going to affect how fast the block the bitcoin blockchain syncs the two main things that are going to affect are your your uh download bandwidth and your hard drive uh type you can get ssds or solid state drives i recommend samsung's a great brand um and you can get them pretty quick delivered by jeff bezos himself from amazon i hear uh in the next day or two if you live in a major metropolitan area me, I decided to download it in my SSD, specifically in the Bitcoin folder, just because it's easier to keep track of. In here, you'll pretty much have the whole 
kind of blockchain. And this process might take a day, it might take two days. It yep. really depends on your system, your <clears throat> connection. I would just let it let it run while you're doing other tasks because it will take a while to get a, a watched I have a one node never me. sinks. I have an Remember that. 90, one of the best like AMD processors for the 4090, 32 gigs of RAM, and it still took me about one. Wait, shit! This guy, what does this guy have? He's got a 4090 will take a while to give a reference i have a one gigabit download speed i have an r so he's got gigabit down damn nice tx 4090 what got a 4090 one of the best like amd processors for come on man you can't just not know what cpu you've got if you've got a 4090 you also you should know exactly what you've got as your cpu if you have like the nicest GPU money can buy. Or the 4090, 32 gigs of RAM, and it still took me about one and a half days to fully download the node. So yeah. after you finish downloading the node, you're gonna wanna index the node. This is kind of like recording all the transactions and making it into a This list. is way better you're than my explanation. I was sick with COVID. I was also this, getting slammed with Discord notifications. And run your Bitcoin D file. The yep. problem that I had, and a problem that a lot of people had when not installing on their main drive, is that they'll open up Bitcoin D and it'll auto automatically start re-downloading the entire node on your main drive. In order to counteract this, you have to take a, a couple of steps. If this yep. does not affect you, then it might not apply. Specifically for me, what I needed to do is I needed to right-click this and I needed to show more options and I needed to create a shortcut. Create a shortcut. After you create a shortcut, I, I you could keep it in the same folder. I decided to move it on my desktop just because it's easier, I guess. Once you have your shortcut though, you wanna right click it, show properties, and you want to run these two commands. Whatever your target says here, keep it as it is. You wanna add a space after that. You wanna have dash data dir, and then wherever your Bitcoin folder is. Yeah, so this is right. This is a great step-by-step -step deal. He's basically telling you to change the directory of uh, where your full node syncs. Um, a couple, a lot of people like let their whole Bitcoin core node sync their GUI client and then they open up Bitcoin D and then try to resync the entire blockchain again. So this is one of those kind of ways around it. And this also is just good practice and teaches you something. Is. Now, like I said, for me, I downloaded the whole node on my SSD in the same folder as the, the program. So for me, I would right click my folder here, copy as path, and then just paste it in here. And it's a, the exact same thing. Make sure to take out the, the quotation marks. So if you're that, new to this, you get to used to the copy as path. Space, do the command, command dash TX index equals one. What this pretty much does is it's, that it is it usually by the, default the process yeah. for indexing. So now once you run Bitcoin D and make sure whenever you run other programs that you close out of any other Bitcoin core programs because you can't run them simultaneously. Also, this process could take a long time, so you might be waiting here for a bit. Yeah, it took me <clears throat> on a on a Ryzen 9 7900X with 64 gigabytes of uh, DDR5 on thinking to an M.2 drive with a 3080 Ti, if that matters, which it doesn't. It took me like six hours. I had to run that shit overnight. It's gonna take a minute, man. Dude, how is it still going? So once you have the property set, all you need to do is open Bitcoin D. It'll start, you know, going through the whole I'm glad thing. He, kind of like validating he, uh, hit stuff. this. I should have hit this start online. Syncing the index with the corresponding block. To check if it's completed or not, what you're going to want to do is you want to go into your bin that contains all of the, the executable files. Type CMD. And in here, Definitely you're going to want to do Bitcoin-CLI get block count. And if you get this error here where it says there's no authentication cookie, Go to your Bitcoin folder, go to your cookie file. Now, no, your cookie file will be here whenever you have Bitcoin D open. If you do not have Bitcoin D open, it will not be here. What you want to do is right click it, copy as path. You're going to want to do this type in Bitcoin dash CLI dash RPC cookie file equals and then the copy path for the cookie. This and guy then you type in block considered like all the, uh, the, the all the other things that could go wrong. I love that. Index. That's awesome. Um, now to check to see if it's the most up to date one. You're gonna to wanna to go onto mempool.space. Best this website contain, in the biz, uh, the mempool.space. You get used to the shit. Now. You'll be looking Once at these you know block confirmations like indexed, nobody's business. Just start moving on to the Ord wallet. Now, going into the Ordinal inscription guide, we have a link to the Ord GitHub. From here, you're gonna to wanna to go to releases. 
How am I the only person who's commented on this? This is the most useful video in the world. Four hours ago. Windows 1. I'll open it up and here we have all the programs. I decided to, to make an ORD folder inside the Bitcoin core program. I just think it's it's easier this way. I dragged in all the files. Yep. And from here, you're gonna want to launch a CMD oh, file. Oh, I guess you can you have command Bitcoin like that. D open. He, he opened up Windows command prompt. If that was a little fast, you can hit the search bar, uh, type CMD, hit enter and you'll get that. Just to reiterate, you do wanna have or you could cop right click or.exe, copy as path, open up the command prompt, copy paste, hit enter. A command prompt that is specifically inside this folder. And to do that, you just go to the address bar of the folder. Man, and this guy's. And you'll get a command prompt inside the folder. Smarter once you have me. this, you're going to want to start doing ord wallet create. Um, once you do this, uh, it'll create a mnemonic for you, which is pretty much like a seed phrase. Write it down, remember it, because that's. That's what you're going to need in case you don't have access to your current wallet. Let's say this doesn't work for you. Let's say there's an error. Some people get errors that you can't connect to the server or something like that. It'll, I'll actually show what that looks like. Here we go. So the error is failed to connect to Bitcore RPC. Yeah. <clears throat> for this one, it's essentially asking me for my cookie file. So it's going to be a similar thing to where we go into our Bitcoin folder uh, that contains our node. We copy the path and to write in the command, we're going to want to do ord space two dashes cookie dash file space and then the cut the path where we have our cookie for you guys it would be create i already created one so i don't want to create another one yeah when you create a wallet it shouldn't ask to index like this but once you well every time you try to like check the inscriptions in your wallet any blocks that have happened in the time since you did anything the wallet will have to basically index the most recent few blocks. So you'll you'll get this a lot. But the first time you do it, it's going to take a long time. Every time after that, it'll take maybe a few seconds, maybe a minute or two. To uh, ask for the balance, it will start indexing blocks and it'll start the process of indexing. Once the process is done, which it could take, I don't know, like maybe half a day, a day. It, it's definitely it less took me like six that, hours and I got... Um, Primo once you've shit. done that, uh, you'll have easy access to kind of do do anything within the Ord wallet. So I guess the uh, the next step would be to try to fund this wallet and doing the the same commands depending on on what your situation is like. It might ask you for a cookie file. It might ask you for um, let me let me do help actually, so you can see all the, the options. It might ask you for uh, the Bitcoin data directory. This guy moves a little too fast. Um... Paz, you're making, most of the people watching this are pretty incompetent, including me, so I would say uh, <laughs> you're clicking around real fast, man. I love it. <laughs> if you want to learn how to pause and uh, uh, pause and unpause a video, I think it's Which K, the letter K, like this. Folder. With the notes, that's you the way to do it. Path to that, do it in a similar fashion to where um, to where we did it like this. Ord space dash dash Bitcoin data directory uh, space and then the, the path to the directory and wallet balance. And if it doesn't let you do that either, then you could try to do the Bitcoin data directory and the cookie file. Do both of those uh, at once. I would say do the Bitcoin directory first. And then if it still doesn't let you, it could just be a, a different issue. Like it could be your your Bitcoin D or something else. Most people that I have helped, they're usually fine. What you're gonna wanna do to actually fund the wallet is just type in your command, wallet, and then receive. This will generate a Bitcoin address, yep. and all you're gonna need to do is just copy it, obviously. Depending on like where you have your Bitcoin stored, it could be difficult to send funds to this wallet. Because the wallet's gonna need what's called a taproot address, which is kind of a newer type of address. Like if you're at a major exchange, exchange like Coinbase, Coinbase doesn't yet support taproot addresses, this is a huge issue. Uh, you shouldn't use Coinbase very much. They're a great company to buy your first Bitcoin, but your second Bitcoin and your hundredth Bitcoin buy with like a company named like River Financial or like Kraken's good too, but like, or Strike or Cash App. But yeah, a lot of these companies like Coinbase, they just don't focus on Bitcoin stuff and they should. And now that all you, you NFT people are on Bitcoin, like they're really gonna have to do this. I, I they, they've been very dragging their heels and remiss to do this. For example, Coinbase Pro has issues with this. I don't know if any other exchanges or like wallets have issues with this, but if you do come across an issue where you can't actually send um, Bitcoin to 
uh, your, your Ord wallet. An easy workaround I had for this is to use Exodus wallet. Essentially, it's like a wallet that holds various different cryptocurrencies. I would send my Bitcoin from Coinbase. I generally don't like <coughs> recommending like browser wallets. Exodus is quick and it quick and lets you kind of get off zero easily. Uh, I would, I would uh, say Exodus is fine to buy keep like 50 bucks of Bitcoin in. I wouldn't put more, any, any wallets that's on your phone or on, or on like a browser extension, don't put more Bitcoin or crypto in that wallet than you would keep in like in cash in your own real life wallet. That's a just a generally a good rule of thumb. To this wallet and then from this wallet, I would then send over the same amount of Bitcoin that I sent myself to this Ord wallet. It sometimes might not let you send over the max amount. If that's the case, I would try lowering the amount you're trying to send. And receiving the funds, it's gonna take a long time. I don't know, sometimes it could be fast depending on like the how fast the, the transactions are. An easy way to check is to kind of check the mempool. And I'm interested to see what he says here. I mean, actually, since he's made this video 24 hours ago, uh, transaction fees have gone up considerably. Let's just take a look. Mempool.space, y'all know it. Um, you're going to need to pay, a, you know, like 30, 50 cents a transaction. Um, if you're sending a Bitcoin transaction to get it in a block in, in, uh, soon. This is because everybody else is trying to send, uh, NFTs or inscriptions on the blockchain. So, um, yeah, if your wallet that you're sending from has an option to like do a high fee priority, choose that. It's going to cost more. Easy way to see your balance is to do Ord wallet and then balance. It will pretty much just showcase the amount of balance or the balance that you have. Your 35k sats. Once you have what your a Ord wallet man. index uh, funded, uh, your wallet's graded obviously, um, and you have Bitcoin D running. What you're gonna want to do is essentially do the wallet command and at the end do inscribe, and then you're gonna want to come into uh, wherever the file is that you want to inscribe you want to write this man has got his shit on lock path type it in, love these enter, love all these images. and then you'll see here you'll get uh three different things the first one is oh my gosh his file names are ordinal face underscore zero zero underscore rod rodamore casey this is i love this guy this is awesome oh my gosh i love this the commit ID. Now, with these transaction IDs, you kind of go in, uh, see the status of your transaction. The first transaction that will be processed is the commit one, and then we'll have the reveal one that'll go next. And depending on the length, it, it could take, I don't know, upwards to a couple minutes to uh, maybe an hour. Uh, it really depends on how busy the blockchain is at the time. So for this, it, it could take maybe 10 minutes. If I'm not on this block, then I'll be maybe on this block or the next few blocks. And it, like I said, it could take up to like an hour and one last thing once your inscription does finish you'll see it right here on the order did his voice just change if you guys need any more help feel free to oh, join our discord server we're going to be launching like. our mint soon for ordinal faces and make sure to yeah shout out the project ordinal faces i'll probably mint one i like this guy he's got six youtube subscribers and probably his only youtube video i mean i get it yeah he made this so he could do this YouTube account. I get it. Like, I literally tried to change my YouTube account, which I've had for years, because I was like, oh, shit, I got to make a instructional video. So, like this guy. Um, really love all the NFT Programs people in the space. Uh, in order to Using the immutable, unique properties of Bitcoin. Peace.